Hey everybody, Jeremy here with another quick update for you. Tonight we're going to look at upgrading Proxmox backup server from 2.3-3 to version 2.4. Let's get started. Okay, so we're here on our Proxmox backup server. As you can see, I have queried for updates and we are gonna go ahead and run the upgrade. There we go, answer yes. And this should go along pretty quick for us tonight. And it is generating a new kernel. So we will have to reboot once this has completed. And the new 2.4 version of Proxmox backup server does in fact have the dark mode enabled, which is probably the biggest improvement. Also, if you'd like to use an LDAP server, an external LDAP server for authentication, you can also do that now. So we're gonna go ahead and log out of the terminal and we'll do a refresh. And it's still saying 233. So we're gonna go ahead and reboot the server and we'll just jump to our terminal to do that. All right, and in just a minute or two, this should be back up. Okay, let's reload. It automatically adjusted to dark mode because that's the way I've got my system set up. You could also come into the menu here and choose theme and force it to dark mode rather than having it auto detect. So not a huge update to talk about tonight, but we're going to jump over here and just look at their release notes. Like the virtualization environment, it is now based on Debian 11.6 Bullseye and has the option of kernel 5.15 or 6.2. ZFS has been updated. Dark mode has been added. It's added LDAP authentication and user synchronization. You can download task logs in the GUI. Uh, there's a new installation ISO image and you can select the time zone. So the UTC time zone. Again, pretty easy update and everything is in place and all my backups are still intact that's going to do it for this video thank you all for watching and for your continued support dur during this crazy month of daily content and i will see you in the next video have a great day